Hey, I'm Sarah, this is Abby, and welcome to Aswool Unlimited. If you're new here, I'm a scuba instructor and I moved into my van in 2021 after losing my dive shop in Indonesia due to shutdowns. I've been on the road diving around the US, Canada, and Mexico for the last two years, teaching on YouTube along the way. Before we get into the video, I'm just here to let you know that I have two spots available for my Komodo dive expedition and my other trips to Baja and Socorro are open. Check out all the trip details on my website and I hope to dive with you very, very soon. Vamanos. I'm attempting to use a plant as a tripod and I'm not really sure if this is gonna work out for me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, this is kind of close. Let's see if I can get you back here. Oh, you can see the foliage. <laughs> here, wait. Just tuck you down. There we go. That's like good-ish. My battery totally died in like a really inopportune moment. <laughs> but luckily people are so kind. I had a taxi driver pull up and try to start the engine. It was not working. I did not know this. You can swap batteries with someone, start up the car, then take out the battery and run the car off of your alternator. All of you car people will be like, duh, Sarah, that's obvious. I didn't know that, so I wanted to share that with you in case you didn't know it. I was flabbergasted. And no, necesito una nueva. You're saving my life. I think that you can handle a dead battery. Well, I appreciate it. Let's see if she starts. Abby, move. Thank you. Love you. Boy. So yeah, she's got a brand new battery. Look at that, beauty. And we're ready to rock and roll. Ay, senorita. We have a very dirty window. this but come on come on I know I know oh you just hit me in the jaw <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. good girl yes what a good girl yes you were so brave I really love La Paz it's the perfect combination of cute beachside town and bustling, eventful city where you can get anything you need. Some of my favorite camping beaches are out here. One thing to watch out for, I have experienced and heard of more petty theft in the La Paz area than any other town in Los Cabos. This is simply the nature of bigger cities with lots of tourists, so as long as you lock up your stuff in town and at night, you have a good chance of avoiding issues. Go, go, go! <laughs> oh, it smells good. Is that our popcorn or their popcorn? Hey. hey. I want to be on that boat.
just like, there's not enough room in here for me. I have snorkeled with whale sharks and sea lions in La Paz during my Baja dive expedition, and every time it has been absolutely incredible. However, I wanted to explore a little more of the Espiritu Santo National Park, so I booked a two tank dive trip with the dive gurus. Here we find ourselves in another UNESCO World Heritage Site in the Gulf of California where gorgeous virgin beaches, desert, volcanic rock, and a wide variety of critters all converge in harmony. Our first dive was at the wreck Salva Tierra. This cargo ferry sank after hitting a particularly shallow portion of Suwannee Reef in the 1970s and has since become a beautiful reef with a maximum depth of 18 meters or 60 feet. As far as I understand, penetration is not allowed on this wreck. However, there were a couple of spots that were definitely tempting to explore. Our second dive site was at a nearby location on Swanee Reef. Here we were greeted by a small playful sea lion gang and the most coral I've ever seen in the Gulf of California. The dive site was teeming with life, including a smattering of small shrimps, crabs, and nudies, along with larger creatures, including mores and hunting cormorants. loads of crown of thorns sea stars. I saw my first crown of thorns on this trip in Loretto, but the population seems to be particularly thriving here. Let's talk about why this is not such a good thing for the ecosystem. Crown of thorns sea stars prey on hard coral by munching on the soft tissue found on the coral skeleton, thereby depleting the coral of its nutrients. The main predator for the crown of thorns is the giant triton, a giant sea snail. It's a nocturnal hunter, which is why we didn't see any out and about feasting on this buffet. The giant triton moves quickly and uses its venom to immobilize its prey, enjoying a peaceful meal. Humans have also attempted crown of thorns population management in a few different ways. One, by physically removing them from the water instead of dismembering them. 
Although this species of sea star is not known for asexual reproduction, they have survived dismembering as long as some of the central disc remains intact. Dismembering is not only labor intensive, but also divers run the risk of getting spiked with their venomous spines. Two, injecting the sea stars with sodium bisulfate or regular household vinegar. Both solutions kill crown of thorn sea stars without harming the ecosystem. This seems to be the most effective and efficient measure to keep populations in check. And in the case of vinegar, it's cheap and easy to find even in remote places. A little note about boat rides around La Paz. Always bring a boat coat. It gets surprisingly cold, especially if you go all the way out to the sea lion colony on Los Islotes, which is about an hour and a half from the city center. I will always recommend my favorite outerwear from Surfer, but anything that will cut the wind and keep you dry is the key. This isn't sponsored, but if you want to check out Surfer, I have an affiliate link and a code for 10% off in the description below. I absolutely never go on boats without their gear. hung up and drying and drove out to the Malecon. And it's time to do something a little bit different.